Hello all, I am Dr. Prabhas Sanjanbal. In today's class, we will discuss about the countable and uncountable sets. So, the countable and uncountable sets are the part of Turing machine. So, what is the meaning of countable sets? Say here. Countable sets. So, a set is said to be countable. A set is said to be countable if we are able to provide, if we are able to provide one to one correspondence, one to one correspondence with natural numbers. Means one to one correspondence with natural numbers. Suppose a set, a set contains one, to, uh, suppose uh, three flowers, flower one, flower two, and flower three. Okay. So we can provide one to one correspondence, one to one correspondence with natural numbers. Natural numbers means one to one correspondence with natural numbers means we'll provide one, F1, two for F2 and three for F3. Mean this set contains only three numbers. Okay. So this set is called a countable sets. Suppose for example, number of stars in the sky is countable. Number of stars means See here, just assume the sky is limited. Just assume that the sky is limited. If the sky is limited, so we can count one, two, three like this. In this way, if we will count, so we can count the number of stars in the sky. So that's why the number of stars in the sky is countable sets. Okay. So next we'll see uncountable sets. Uncountable sets. So what is the meaning of uncountable sets? A set is said to be uncountable. A set is said to be uncountable if we cannot provide, if we cannot provide one to one, one to one correspondence. If we cannot provide one to one correspondence with natural numbers, with natural numbers to that set, to that set is called as uncountable sets. Means suppose we cannot we cannot provide one to one correspondence with natural numbers. It's very simple. For example, is here number of points in a line, number of points in a line. That means suppose this is a line, this is a line. I don't know how many points are present in this line. So that's why it is called uncountable sets uncountable sets means we cannot provide one to one correspondence with natural numbers countable sets means we can provide one to one correspondence with natural numbers these sets are called as natural countable sets and these sets are called as means if we cannot provide any one to one correspondence with natural numbers these sets are called as uncountable sets okay now we'll see so which sets are countable and which sets are uncountable okay Just see this Venn diagram. Just see this Venn uh, diagram. See this Venn diagram. See, FL means finite language. FL means uh, I'm just using black color. FL means finite language. This one is called as finite language. Is a subset of regular language. Regular language is a subset of DCFL language means deterministic context-free language. DCFL is a subset of NCFL means non-deterministic context-free language. NCFL is a subset of CSL means context-sensitive language. CSL is a subset of recursive language or we can say in short we can write REC. Then REC language is a subset of REL. REL means recursive innumerable language. Then these are the subset, okay? So next, 
concept for finite language and regular language the automata associated with finite language and regular language is called as finite automata the automata associated with decipher language is called as dpda means deterministic push down automata the automata associated with ncfl ncfl is npda or we can say pda in or we can also call as pda means non deterministic push down automata or we can also write pda because by default push down automata means non deterministic push down automata the automata associated with csl means context sensitive language is called linear bounded automata the automata automata or machine associated with recursive language is called htm htm means halting turing machine halting turing machine this is called halting turing machine halting turing machine the automata or machine associated with rel means recursive enumerable language is called ntm ntm means non halting turing machine ntm means non halting turing machine ntm means non halting turing machine okay now we'll see which sets are countable and which sets are called uncountable see here from finite language means from this parts from this parts the whole part from finite language to recursive language from finite language to rel language or we can write finite automata to non halting turing machine or finite automata to non halting turing machine these parts are called countable parts okay so from finite automata so from finite automata to finite automata to non halting turing machine or finite language to rel language means recursive enumerable language these parts are called as countable sets so which parts are called uncountable sets beyond recursive language beyond recursive language means this part is called as this part this part this part is called as not rel not rel means not recursive enumerable language part this part is called as uncountable sets okay this part is called as uncountable sets okay so from finite language to recursive language or finite automata to non halting turing machine these parts are called as countable sets and not rel part not rel based part means not recursive enumerable language part is called as uncountable sets okay so now we'll see some note points see what is the meaning of these note points this is very very important see the first note point turing machine first note point turing machine is not possible for uncountable sets turing machine is not possible for uncountable sets this is a very very important point turing machine is only possible for countable sets turing machine never possible for uncountable sets the second point uncountable sets the second point uncountable sets comes under comes under the class of the class of not rel in the chamsky level not rel part uncountable sets are comes under the class of not rel part See, we have already seen. See, uncountable sets are comes under which part? Not RL part. Okay, countable sets are comes under generally finite automata to RL part or recursive enumerable language part. But uncountable uncountable sets that generally comes under. the not rel part means not recursive enumerable language part okay see 
so okay second point clear uncountable sets comes under the class of not real in the chomsky level okay the third point here uncountable sets uncountable sets are also undecidable uncountable sets are also undecidable okay so actually in the next class we will discuss about the details uh, about the what is the meaning of decidable uh, un undecidable we will discuss in upcoming uh, classes okay so just listen here uncountable sets are generally called undecidable sets hence a language hence a language is not a real hence a language is not a real means it is undecidable because un uncountable sets means uncountable sets generally comes under the not a real part so if a language is not a real means it is undecidable because uncountable sets are undecidable okay so fourth point what is the meaning of the fourth point a set of languages a set of languages recognized by turing machine a set of languages recognized by turing machine is countable a set of language recognized by turing machine is also called countable because set of language recognized by turing machine means a real language a real language is also countable fifth point a set of languages not recognized by turing machine is uncountable a set of language not recognized by turing machine means this is called not a real this part is called not a real so that's why it is uncountable the sixth point or the next point recursive languages recursive languages are also called as universal language recursive language the another name of recursive language is also called as universal language okay so in the next class we will discuss about the closure properties of turing machine sorry uh, closure properties of uh, recursive and recursive enumerable language okay so thanks for watching for today's class also